How much do I have in common with my ancestors? The more I ask myself this, the more I realize very little, if anything. Perhaps the shape of my face or my eye color. Maybe even a facial expression passed down through genetic code. Or so says my grandparents, reminiscing of a person gone 70 years before I was even born. What does it mean to be a Rusin in America? Or even better, how does one qualify as such? I neither speak Rusin nor knew anyone that did growing up. A family who hadn't been Greek Catholic for four generations. The link through the church was long, broken. Raised in an atheist family, there wasn't even a religious community to go to. I know neither foods nor customs that my great-grandparents would have known. You could very well put ten dishes in front of me, and I wouldn't have a clue of a single one, much less how to eat them. Neither the towns nor the landscapes they knew I have any idea of. All that I know is of pictures and stories of their beauty. In fact, so far removed from that previous life that even my grandparents only have faint inklings of where they came from, forever hiding in the identity of something else. The nail that stands up gets hammered down, as they say, for my great-grandparents and their children to live in a community foreign from their own. I doubt much nonconformity was an option. Living a lie as it were to become accepted. Our Polish customs, our Polish food, our Slovak ways, these things are at best half-truths. Yes, it would have been arduous, but would it have been worth it to be different? Did my ancestors care so little about their own history, they so easily cast it aside when it suited them? What does that tell me? Why should I strive to connect to a history that they had so few qualms of destroying? A memory slowly fading away, a car driving further into the distance, almost passing below the horizon. Wanting to find the answer that I wanted, not the truth. One dream comes back to me when I think to this, alone in the desert mountains, the sky pitch black, barely a star to be seen. I continue to walk forward, never back, trying to find something that is not known. I see but glimpses, shadows watching me, standing in my path. As if they stare into my soul, I can never tell if they are good or evil. The end never comes, doomed to forever roam. The endless streets of lifeless malls and chain restaurants are my home, if you can call it that. The only desire for constant economic growth, disregard for the past. Constant release of products to buy and shows to distract yourself if you choose. Is this what I'm supposed to call home? Is this the meaning of what I'm supposed to do? Even when I did find out my past, I was so confused that I denied it. Forced myself to believe I was something else. Hearing the beautiful songs of the Rusins. Seen photos of the elegant wooden churches from centuries past. The fog hovering over the luscious rolling hills and mountains of what was my forefather's homeland. It took many years to fully accept this reality. To accept who I am. And the external validation from others. If you placed me together with a Rusin from the homeland, how much do we have in common? Do I know anything about him? What do we share? The only thing Rusin about me is my ancestors who left 100 years ago. How can I call myself one? I am as close to being a Rusin as an Englishman is, except for my genes. Or perhaps I am more than that. Is it only a matter of time before I feel connected to that past? Feeling at peace with where I belong in my history. One day, perhaps, I will have an answer.